Welcome to Tech Binomial and third part of the series Capacitor Plugin. The first part is about how to create a simple capacitor plugin, install it locally and access its functionality in your application. The second part demonstrated how to check for the permission status and request the permission for protected feature of the device like contacts, camera, calendar, etc. In the third part, you will see how to use the intents and start the activity from your plugin. Before starting, just a short look on what are intents. Intents are actually asynchronous messages which allow application components to request functionality from other Android components. That other Android components may be from the same application or it may be from the contributed application. Now in this example, the button is given here to open the gallery. When the button is click, it start the activity to open the gallery. User can select the photo from here and it return the selected photo to the application. So you need to create the intent here and start the activity to open the another component. Now in this video, we will consider two examples. One example will be how to open a particular URL in a web browser from your plugin and second will be how to set the event in a calendar. So let's start. We will continue with the same demo here. In the definition.ts file of the plugin, just add one method, say open website, which takes site URL as a parameter. So we need to import here some namespaces. Activity, activity not found exception, activity result, then the intent, and to parse the URI. Add a plugin method open website, extract the parameter site URL. Now this is how you can create the intent object. Now I am setting here the data by passing the URI provided as the parameter. Then using the get context, start the activity and pass the intent object to the activity. Also add the web implementation of the method this is the application where we want to call the plugin method. So in the HTML, just add a simple button which will call the open website method. And in the TypeScript, add the method, then call the open website method of the custom plugin. Then pass the parameter site URL. Now this method is ready. First run the command ionic cap sync android and then run the application on the emulator. Now you can see that the given URL open in a browser. Now let's start the second example that is for the calendar. In the my custom plugin in definition.ts file, I am adding here a simple method calendar test. Add the web implementation of it. Import the two namespaces calendar and calendar contract. Add a plugin method calendar test. Create a new calendar intent and the intent is the action insert. Then take the begin time and the end time to set for the event then to pass this information to the calendar component use the put extra method and pass here the title event location using the get context start the activity and pass the calendar intent the plugin site is ready in the plugin tester application, just add one method to test the calendar. Call the calendar test method of the custom plugin. Now just test the calendar. So this is the event name, start date and time, end date and time. 
and you can save this event in the calendar. Just click on the save button. Now select the October 29. You will get here the my calendar event location address is random. And these are the event details. In case if you have some issue with the permissions, then in your applications manifest file, just add read calendar and write calendar permissions. This is how intents and activity works and you can add it into your plugin. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. And the most important thing, like the video, subscribe the channel. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.